Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and I am super excited because I have an exclusive pre-ordered copy. This hasn't even come out yet. From the time that this video goes live, this will not even have been released yet. This is the newest addition to the Zanmin book test series. This is Alice. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I just wanted to let you guys know that Josh Zanman has been so gracious as to send me an advanced copy of uh, his newest book test called Alice. Now this is gonna be the first book test in a new series of book tests that he's putting out. Uh, if you've already seen the Zanman book test series, uh, you know, Great Gatsby, Sherlock Holmes, or Scarlet Letter, you already know how incredibly powerful uh, these book test series are. If you haven't seen it yet, go check out my review on it. I left a link in the description below. I'm not going to talk too much about the other books because I want to keep this review nice and short, but go check out that review. Let's talk about Alice. Now, Alice has, <clears throat> just like its predecessors, it has a couple of different methods. Now, the first method is the basic Zanman book test method, which if you already have the other book tests, you're already familiar with. And in performance, it would look something like this. I'm gonna flip through the book. You just say stop at any time you'd like, right here. Go ahead and look at that first word on the page. You got it. And the word that you're thinking of is together, right? So it's super easy and uh, there's no forcing, there's no, you don't have to fish for letters or anything like that. The thing that I like about it too is that since you're not forcing a specific page, uh, the spectator, let's just say they say stop here, but they change their mind and they want you to keep going, you can do that. Another thing, now this is the new part here. This is the first book test in the series that actually has pictures in the book. So you're gonna be using the pictures, the images here to actually do some pretty cool things as well. And um, essentially the idea with this book test is after you've done this part, you have them look at the word, you hand them the book, you divine the word and you know, you're gonna get a reaction, everyone's gonna clap, yay, he got the word. Then, I'm not holding the book anymore, the spectator's holding the book at this point. I'm gonna say, let's try something different. Go ahead and open the book to any page, right? So they're gonna open the book to any page, you're gonna have them, I don't wanna to say too much because I don't wanna tip the method, but you're gonna have them open the book to any page, they're gonna do something, you're gonna give them some kind of instructions to follow which are super simple, it's nothing crazy. And as soon as they open the book and look at a page, just like this, you instantly know exactly which word they're thinking of. It's that easy, it's that clean. And they truly do open the book freely to any page. You're not gonna tell them, you know, okay, let's roll some dice. Okay, uh, 14, now let's add the, those numbers together and do this and do that. All right, cool, so you're gonna open to page 73. Like, no, none of that. They open the book very freely and very fairly. You tell them to look at a word, they're gonna do so, and then you're instantly able to divine that word. So it's super awesome, it's super straightforward, it's very easy to do, and like I said, this is the first one that allows you to be able to perform the book test completely hands-free. And I wanna emphasize this, there is no fishing so you're not gonna be like, okay, think of a word and you have the letter X in your word. Is that true? Yes or no? Like none of that. You're simply going to hand them the book, they're gonna open it, and then you're gonna instantly tell them which word they're thinking of. And if you haven't already done, you know, like I said, if you haven't already, go check out the other book tests in the Xamarin book test series because this is a great one to add to your ever-growing book test collection. So what you can do is uh, you can have all of these books laid out. You can have a spectator choose any book and then you can use the appropriate method based on which book they chose. Or if you're like me, you're performing magic on stage, you can maybe have all four books out and bring four different spectators up, have each one grab a book, and then you can read each of their minds uh, using each of the, the books here in the book test. So overall, really cool. I give Alice five stars, like I said, super easy to do. Uh, I'm repeating myself at this point. It's easy, it's awesome, it's fun. Go check out Alice by, 
Alice in Wonderland by Josh Zanman. I'm going to leave a link in the description here where you can buy this. And uh, I'd like to see what you guys do with any of these book tests. Uh, I have some crazy ideas myself. One thing I'm definitely going to do with this is uh, add it into my Doctor Who magic trick. If you haven't already seen that, I'll leave a link to that as well. Uh, but I'd like to see what you guys do with these book tests. So feel free to uh, send me a comment, leave a comment in this video here with a link to uh, you performing any of the Zanman book tests. Uh, I know Josh Zanman himself would like to see them as well. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time with more magic product reviews. Alice is the newest addition to the Zanman book test series. It uses an all new, hands-free method that allows you to instantly divine a word without even touching the book. Is your word peppermint? Yeah. Oh my God, how did you do that? <laughs> There's no forcing, no fishing, no guessing. In fact, the book can be in the spectator's hands the entire time and you're still able to tell them exactly which word they're thinking of. Is your word sunglasses? <laughs> this is Alice by Josh Zanman.